to you our learning experience sa school. Okay? Dala ko din po ang pangalan ng Dela Salipa. So, for your information, our school is has already started this online learning since 2017. So, parang medyo mayabang akong magsabi na medyo sanay kami ng konti dito sa uh, online learning experience. And when we experienced the Taal Volcano eruption last January 20, this this year lang po, um, kasi we opened our academic uh, year last August, so third quarter pa lang yun, and because we want to give um, quality education to our students, so we continuously give them the home-based online learning through our learning management system. So third quarter po yun sa amin ng academic calendar yung January. Then we continuously give them the learning instructions through that. Then after a month, we back, we um, bumalik kami sa school. We had our face-to-face -face learning interactions. And then nakaroon naman tayo ng pandemic. And then yan po, we ended our fourth quarter, neto lang May, uh, through our um, learning management system also. So for now, um, yan po, don't forget our hashtag ha, learn as one PH. Um, as a Catholic school, we always start our session with a prayer. So let us remember that we are in the most holy presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So let us pray the nuts prayer. Dear God, please untie the nuts that are in my hand, my heart, and my life. Remove the have-nots, the can-nots, and the do-nots that I have in my mind. Erase the will-nots, may-nots, and might-nots that may find a home in my heart. Release me from the could-nots, would-nots, and should-nots that obstruct my life. And most of all, dear God, I ask you, I ask that you remove from my mind, my heart, and my life all of the am-nots that I have allowed to hold me back, especially the thought that I'm not good, that I'm not good enough. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So yun po, credits po sa owner ng, I have uh, just borrowed this prayer from Miss Queen when we had our departmental, our um, chairs meeting po. So yan. Um, um, I want you to know me better by, because I will be showing some of our pictures. So this is my family po. Ayan po. So my husband Alvin, my daughter Ayan, and my son Byron. So I am already a mother of two, an 18-year-old boy, and a pusha sila ngayon, yan, and a 15-year-old girl. So kami po ay mga parent, mga millennial parents of the Gen Z generations. So kumbaga alam na alam ko narin kung paano maghandle ng mga millennials, lalo ng sila preschoolers. Then so I was able to be a mother and a teacher of them. Okay. Also, I would like you to meet. The preschool department of Dallas Alipa. Yan po ang mga teachers namin. Kawai kawai naman jan sa ating mga teachers. Ayan, when we had our pajama party. And of course, the reason why I am a preschool teacher is because of our students. Ayan po. So, as you see, mga ulo lang na nakikita nyo. Because, because of the DPA, the Data Privacy Act. So, ayoko po ma malibel tayo jan. So, ayan po. Ano po? Okay po. So, um, ayan. as you see, there are uh, pictures of commercials here. So, I know you will be answering that's a commercial of safeguard, right? Na po. Then, the next one is, ano po kaya yan? Apo, tama po yan po, ay Celine Plus. Then, this one, Breeze, correct. And that one po is, Nido, si Zia, at saka si Marion Rivera. And of course, ang Bonakid Preschool. So, what are those common Dito po sa ating mga pictures, they are definitely the preschoolers. Okay po? So, the preschoolers are considered the happiest, the jolliest. Sila yung pinakamaingay sa ating school. At tayo as a preschool teacher, um, isa na rin tayo sa kinukonsider na pinaka-jolly, pinaka-enthusiastic na teacher sa ating institution. Okay? So, sa amin, sa Lasallian family, um, we, we really pay high tribute to our preschool teachers because we know how hard the dedication, the commitment, the passion of our preschool teachers in handling those kids, lalo po yung mga young learners natin, because we know that the, fundament, the foundation of their life begins in preschool. So what are the characteristics of our preschoolers? So definitely, they integrate a lot of conversations. They do inventions and explorations. They ask why a lot, diba? Laging sinasabi nila, oh, teacher, why? Why, why, why that happen, teacher? Bakit? Laging ganon. 
then they enjoy dramatic and make believe play. They are playing Elsa and Anna in school and even at home. They love to play with words and language. They are curious and inventive. They repeat new skills until they are mastered. Like for example, Gapo, when we had our paper folding activity, when we had our paper folding of an airplane and a boat, when they went home, talagang ginawa ulit yung mga bata yung mga activity na yun until they mastered them and they were able to bring it back to school na mas maganda na yung output or yung product nila. And of course, they learn through active play. Okay. Yan, that, that teacher po is Teacher V, our nursery one teacher. Hello, Teacher V. Ayan. The first years of life are the key to children's growth and development for a healthy, happy childhood and fulfilled adult life. Tama po. So that is really the challenge for us preschool teachers that we have to make the first years of uh, preschoolers in school enjoyable and happy. Because according to brain and developmental research studies, uh, it shows that a child learns before reaching the age of five or six is basic to his educational success throughout life. Oh, ganun pala yun. So fundamental cognitive, physical, emotional, and social skills develop very quickly during a child's first five years. Kaya very, um, very big din pa yung responsibility natin as a preschool teacher, as an early childhood educator, lalo na po yung mga sa daycare centers natin. Ayan po. And thus, a learner-centered school should be committed in providing kids with a happy and stimulating environment that will foster the holistic development, such as cognitive, physical, spiritual, social, emotional, and psychomotor skills. Pupils are trained to be well-rounded individuals who show confidence as they interact with their teachers and classmates. Ayan po. Okay, now that we will be shifting to online learning, how can this be possible? Paano na? Pa how are we going to integrate a lot of play? How are we going to, to show our tender, loving care to our pupils? Because we know sa preschool, mas gusto nila yung the teachers are touching them, hugging them. How are we going to do that? Okay, for now po, I will be sharing with you. Ayan. Wait lang po. Oh, I will be sharing with you a, a poem. Sa pong tula na... Uh, that, that, this was shared by a colleague last night. Sabi ko sa kanya, Teacher Marcel, can I share it to to this webinar today? Because I think this is very timely. I, 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 I think you were able to see it also sa ating mga FB pages ko. So, the, ang ating pong tulay entitled Buhay Guru. Pwede niyo po akong sabayan habang binabasa natin ito. So, dati, gigising ng madaling araw para hindi malate sa school. Ngayon, Inaabot ng madaling araw para hindi malate sa pagpapasa ng mga kailangang ipasa. Dati, magulong classroom at maingay ng mga bata ang mabubungaran mo. Ngayon, magulong desktop at maingay na message notifications ang bubungad pagkagising mo pa lamang. Tama ano po? Dati, pagdating ng hapon, feeling mo, pagod na pagod ka na. Ngayon, nangangalahati pa lang ang, ar ang araw, feeling mo, isang buong magdamag na ang nagdaan. Dati, Nagla-lunch ka kasabay ng mga kasamang guro. Ngayon, agahan, tanghalian, merienda, hapunan, kasama mo ang laptop mo. Dati, naglo-load ka lang pagkailangan. Ngayon, naglo-load ka na dahil kailangan. Dati, nasistress tayo sa mga bata. Ngayon, nasistress tayo dahil hindi na natin makakaharap ang mga bata. For the meantime, kung pwede lang, kung kaya lang, kung posible lang sana, Balik na lang tayo sa dati, maingay, magulo, nakakapaos, nakakapagod, nakakastress, nakakadrain, pero masaya. But this is the new normal for us teachers. At araw-araw po namin niyayakap ito, hindi para mag-comply, kundi para sa mga bata. Hashtag new normal education and hashtag ready to the owner repose. Diba? This is very timely po talaga. So yun po talaga yung ating setup ngayon. So, papa, no, it is a re really a very challenging task para sa atin teachers, lalo na sa mga preschool teachers, on how are we going to make a meaningful learning experience to them through online learning. Okay po, so it is in the light that we will have this seminar. So the objectives of this seminars, of, of this webinar, I mean, are to acquire knowledge and skills on the different online learning and teaching experiences for preschoolers, to enrich the repertoire of strategies that maximize preschoolers' online learning experiences, to make the preschoolers' online learning experiences meaningful. 
Okay po. So, why online teaching? What are the benefits of it? So, we have to embrace it na. Ito na kasi ngayon ang new normal natin because of the pandemic. So, we have to uh, look at the brighter side of it. The benefits of teaching online. Okay, first, it increases flexibility of time and flexibility of location. Ika nga, you can deliver your learning instructions. You can do, you can learn anywhere, anytime. Access equity and disability. Administration efficiency, you can administer it effectively. Information sharing, you can share every information. And a wealth of online resources, ang ating World Wide Web, napakadami nating resources. Diverse and enriching experiences, lalo na sa ating mga diverse learners. We can offer inclusive education to them. Okay, that was taken from the University of New South Wales. So, those are the benefits of teaching online. So, kita natin na maganda rin naman. Okay, di naman na we were able to experience it. And at the same time, nihahanda natin na ating sarili before the opening of classes. So, I will also be sharing with you some practical ways to overcome and, um, and embrace the teaching and learning opportunities to this new normal. Okay, let's start. First is... We have to plan our learning experiences. We have to rethink our resources and make use of natural settings. We have to maintain relationships and a sense of belonging. We have to collect evidence of student progress, build effective partnerships, and working together to support or to support all children. So this uh, teacher magazine article by Rebecca Hochbeek in Deborah Price last April 24 to 2020 will be discussed further in the succeeding slides. So first, let's start with the planning learning experiences. Bakit pa kailangan nating magplan? So we have to plan for us to engage children through interacting with their natural setting and then bring this learning to online or paper-based le paper based learning. Okay, we also have to apply techniques of the flipped classroom. So the flipped classroom were in you assigned earlier or the day before all the learning materials all the reading materials at home, the videos, and then when they go back to the next day for the online interaction, they will be able to share only their ideas and then uh, you have, we will be able to do some collaborations and discussions. And in blended learning, it's a mixture of face-to-face -face and online learning. Of course, also, as we plan, we have to take into account also the schedule. We have to schedule regular and short online sessions which accommodate their developmental attention span. So we know that uh, our preschoolers, according to medical experts, they should be uh, having only a maximum of one hour screen time. Alam natin yan, kasi that's, aside from their uh, attention span, that is also uh, the medical recommendations for them. So alam naman natin, di naman maganda talaga yung laging nakafocus tayo sa laptop, sa ating mga devices, sa ating mga cell phones. In addition, you have to design activities that integrate online interactions with physical movement. Of course, we should be delivering holistic education, holistic learning. We have to establish a consistent timetable for engaging in online platforms. So whatever whatever online platforms you are using, uh, yung sa Viva La Vismart, or kung ano mang online platforms available lang yung school na ginagamit ninyo, you have to make sure that you establish a consistent timetable. You have to integrate uh, integrate a range of technologies available to young people, provide children with a choice of activities. Okay, next, practical ways. We also have rethinking resources. We have to make use of natural setting. Okay, so uh, our natural setting, they are very rich in uh, um, different resources. So like, for example, in our everyday household items, we can integrate it in our mathematics and numeracy lesson. Like, for example, when they look around our, ho our house, you will be able to see the clock. Pwede nyo integrate yung numbers, the digital and analog. Yan po yung mga watches natin, timer ng microwave, timer ng oven toaster. And then also, we can use the different measuring cups. Pag nag-aral tayo ng mga, mga uh, about um, measurement also. And then, we have also taken into consideration the nature resources. Okay, we can use, we can maximize the use of stones the use of um, woods around us, okay, the use of available, whatever available materials are there at home. Then the commercial resources, if they have a ball at home, trampolines, jumping ropes, yun ang gamitin natin for their movement activity, for their physical movement activity. 
then in the art resources naman, so whatever are available in the household. Like for example, yung mga leaves, yan, di ba? And then the digital resources, so whatever resources you have at home. Uh, siguro naman, pakunti na lang natin sa mga households natin ang walang cellphone. So they can use the, they can maximize the use of cell phones, their devices, their tablets, their iPods, their laptops. But of course, the best learning includes linking authentic, engaging, and purposeful household activities with learning experiences. Kasi yun naman talaga ang trust ng ating um, early childhood education. Gardening, cooking, painting, building, cleaning, redesigning rooms, and shopping. We have to think, we have to maximize the resources and to make our preschoolers lifelong learners wherein they can be a productive member of the family. Okay, next po. Maintaining relationships and a sense of belonging. That's also very important. Through online platforms, by post and by phone, such as Google Classroom or Zoom, uh, our learning platform right now, um, we can maintain relationships because from time to time when we have our video conferences, okay, we can use it. Breakout rooms can be used also for both formal group tasks and informal conversations. So if you want to make kumusta lang sa inyong mga estudyante or if you want to reteach para dun sa mga students who are struggling for the online learning that you are doing in a span of one hour, pwede nyo gamitin ang inyong mga Google platform, ang inyong mga online platforms rather. Then engagement in secure online games. You have to uh, introduce different online games. Setting learning tasks that engage children in, in interviewing or seeking information from family and friends. We have to maximize also their family members. So we know that in the in our scenario right now, in this new normal, um, the family members, especially their parents, play a vital role. It's a 50-50, um, how do you call it? It's a 50-50 working relationship, 50% from the teacher and 50% from the parents. Okay, of course, you have to collect evidence of student progress. Okay, so um, observing children's engagement in online platforms, presentation and information, responses to questions. Online posting, emails of documents, artifacts, images, photos, videos of learning. So in our case, we, um, we strongly collaborate really with parents. So uh, in posting emails, for sure, parents naman talaga ang gagawa nun. So we have to... Like for mga submissions sa mga activities natin, we have to maximize the use of our emails, our online uh, platforms. And then teachers can design assessments through an online quiz like Mentimeter, Wordell, and later I will be introducing more. Online literacy and numeracy activities. Children can record journals of their daily activities and learnings using images, writing, reading, and voice recordings. So if they have, if in your learning management system, you have an e-portfolio, pwede yun, pwede nyo gawin yun. So lahat ng ginagawa, like for example, they are having an online interaction or synchronous learning, learning time with teacher, pwede nyo i-record and then um, just a clip of it and then i-save ninyo sa isang folder in your uh, desktop or in your laptop. And then maganda yung balikan journal sa mga bata where, where they, will, they will be able to, sa, to see uh, their progress as they are engaging in the online learning. Seek out parent and family perceptions and feedback, of course, and collect children's self-reflections and perceptions. So kahit sa ating mga preschoolers, maganda din yung mga self-reflections tayo, like mga smileys lang. How, how do you feel the activity that we had this afternoon? For example, mag-show uh, lang ang bata ng happy face, sad face, or yung neutral face. So that is very important. Also, we have to build effective partnerships. Nabi ko na yan kanina, right? So we have to extend our collaborations with parents and other family members kasi some parents are working. So in this case, we were uh, being able to provide a range of learning experiences to accommodate individual student contexts. Be mindful of offering flexibility and choice so that children and their parents can, can integrate these learning activities into their own context and daily routines. Like po, uh, when we had our home-based online learning during that al eruption, um, one of our activities that we assigned to our pupils or to our young learners is to make a simple snack together with their family members. So we asked them to integrate it with their lesson. Like uh, that time, the lesson of the nursery one was letter J. So they make a sandwich, uh, they put a jam, then the, the kids also prepare a juice and serve it together with their family members. So in that case, they are integrating their learning activities and at the same time, they are, they are building rapport with their family members. 
parents need to be encouraged to keep a fairly consistent schedule of both formal learning and informal activities using the timetable or learning experiences provided by the teacher. Okay, like for example, Paul, this is just a suggested schedule, a proposed schedule, pero uh, what I am sharing with you right now are actually our prepared um, schedule for this school year, for school year 2020-2021. Because uh, sa, hindi naman sa pagmamayabang po, ay medyo nakaprepare na po talaga yung aming mga lessons and learning materials for the opening of the school year. So our teachers had only our vacation last week. And we really devote our time in preparing and uh, making our learning management system ready for the opening of classes on August 24. So this one is already embedded in our schedule. So though you can have it as a, this is just a suggested schedule. So before 9 a.m., uh, it is suggested that the, a child wake up already, make your bed, take breakfast, brush teeth, and get dressed, prepare for the class. Then 9 to 10, uh, learning time with teacher, that's, a, that's the synchronous learning where you are going to have your in online interaction time, your thematic lessons, demonstration, oral recitation. And then by 10 to 11, it's an asynchronous learning now or learning time with family members where in study time, accomplishing formative assessments and answering enrichment activities happen. Then by 11 to 12, that's a creative time uh, where in the, our little ones naman will make or will devote their time in creative play, art activity, crafts, music, and drawing. By the way, when we, when we mean asynchronous learning, suggested nga lang po ito, so we can, they can have it also in a different time. Yung synchronous learning lang, yung talagang 9 to 10. So yun po talaga yung they have to attend their online interaction. Together with the teacher, they have to have their video conferencing together with the teacher. So in our case, po, um, since um, our online interaction will be done four days in a week, that's Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Then Wednesday will be devoted to their free structured learning. So they will be doing something, yung mga integrating meaningful activities together with their family members. Yun po yung pang Wednesday na. Sorry po ha, na, 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 ano ko na, na-share ko na sa kanila lahat at sa dala sa lipang practices. Anyway, ayan po, we also have to build effective partnerships. Yan, we have to make available communication channels and site by phone. Kaya nga po, we have our uh, online um, consultation. We have to be 24-7 open. Kumbaga, we have to make ourselves open para if parents want to communicate with us, want to clarify with us, they can reach us need to be working together to monitor learning and safe engagement in online activities, of course. Encourage to respond to their child or children as they initiate interactions around the home. In order also to build effective partnership, we have to prioritize fun in learning and problem solving and celebrating learning effort and achievement. Like, uh, even though it's online learning, kailangan pa rin, as teachers, we have to provide yung mga stars, mga smileys, kahit hindi natin maibigay sa kanila, we just show it to them. Like, you're, you, you did a good job today so show the good job badge like that and then also at home as a, as a family naman you can celebrate by for example uh for this for your achievement today because you got a very nice artwork pwede tayong mag-order sa Jollibee something like that ay nag-endorse ako ng Jollibee <laughs> and then empower children to be agents in their own learning okay po so this time yan we have also to uh Include the working together to support all children. Because not all children can access, no? So we have to make sure that because um, um, uh, the most challenging task for teachers now is how to reach, stay connected, and provide rich learning experiences and support for the significant percentage of children who don't have equitable access to resources and care. So okay po yung mga nakaka-enroll sa online learning. So we have to work together to support our children and uh, that's really the work of the teachers, the preschool teachers. So uh, our DepEd is very generous. Sa DepEd click nila, there are uh, uh, very readily available materials. You can just uh, download their worksheets. Okay, De meron na po doon mga activities and modules. So pwede po yung ibigay natin sa mga bata na who can uh, seldomly access to online learning. Okay po? But uh, if you are already in online learning, you have to make, or you have to provide a calm and reassuring environment so that questions about um, the, our current situation will be able to easily answered by us teachers and by parents. And we also have to engage our children in these models of selflessness, shared responsibility, and acts of kindness that promote genuine citizenship qualities. 
Oh, here are some more practical tips. Ito naman po yung aming mga usual na ginagawa na. So I, I will be sharing to you what are do we really do during our online interaction or our video conferencing. So first po, during the orientation, first day pa lang, you condition the mind of the pupils that it's school season. So August 24, first day of classes. Okay, anak, uh, uh, supposedly you are, you are to be, you are going to go to go to school now. But because of this new normal situation, we will have our school, we will bring our school at home. So yan, parang sabi niya na, school season ngayon, araw ng, mga pag, araw ng pagpasok. And with that, we encourage them through their family members to create a space, a learning space. So, dapat po, meron talaga kayong uh, specific learning space, may specific table kayo or corner sa house nyo wherein you set up your uh, devices, you set up your laptop or your cell phone at doon lagi nakakaroon ng mga video conferencing at online learning ang ating mga bata. You have to show a picture of your school and your classroom. So, parang ma-feel ma naman talaga ng mga bata na, ako oh, pumapasok nga pala ako, that's, the, that's my school, that's my classroom. And of course, there must be a certain structure like yung pinakita ko po kanina. There must be a learning time with teacher and a learning time with family members. So, magiging routine yun every day. Parang para rin silang pumapasok sa school kasi they will be doing particular learning tasks. They will be accomplishing specific activities in a specific time. And of course, they will be attending um, classroom or online interactions with their teacher at a specific time also. And there must always be a presence of a teacher. Yan. Opo, kahit online interaction tayo, dapat laging nakikita pa rin tayo ng mga bata. Kahit, kahit nga um, 15 to 20 minutes, nakakapag-high tayo sa mga bata. Because we teachers have really a uh, great impact. Talagang pag sinabing ang teacher ang nagsabi nito, susundin tayo ng mga bata. And of course, parents and family members and teachers must establish a strong partnership. Okay, yan. It's back to school na. First day of school. It's always exciting to the pupils. So we have to make sure also that even though it's online learning, we have to set an exciting mood to our pupils. So first, we have to establish online learning procedures and routines. So credit to teacher Olive and teacher Shella for sharing this to me, ha? So our uh, procedures and routines are the backbone of daily online interaction because it facilitates teaching and learning. It just don't make our life easier but this because they say valuable learning time, but it also make our students' life easier because they learn and achieve more. And one of the most important factors in arranging for a smooth first day of school is setting up clear procedures which will become routines. I know you are all familiar with this. Lagi natin yung ginagawa. We have to establish a clear procedures and routines because it is necessary for us to ensure that our class runs smoothly. Okay? We have to pull up. Uh, Definitely, posting rules and procedures isn't enough. We have to teach them, remember the process. They have to remember the process by rehearsing and then follow them without fail until the last day of classes. Kaya nga routines, every day gagawin natin ito. Okay, of course, since it's an online, uh, online interaction, we have to discuss our video conferencing etiquette. So I'm showing to you or I'm sharing with you, this is uh, our Lasallian way of video conferencing etiquette. So yun nga, yung mga pictures na nandyan ay mga busy namin mga teachers ng preschool department, ng learning area chairs, ayan, ng grade school family, ng grade school academic council, at ng grade school subject area coordinators. So um, we have to make sure that um, we have to discuss properly the video conferencing etiquette that they should be, be on time, they should set up a space, check their appearance, come prepared, know when to turn on and off your audio and video. So, kailangan sa first day pa lang or first week of our online classes, we should um, learn, uh, we should teach our pupils together with their parents or their family members how to turn on and off their video and audio. How to signal when they want to talk, how to be respectful and responsive, and stay focused. And of course, as Lasallians, we observe values and excellence. Ayan po. So it's also important that there should be repetition and consistency. We, we already mentioned that teaching preschool is largely repetitive. This helps children identify patterns and exercise memory. We have to rehearse classroom procedures until they become routines and they were able to master it. Because, and, and, and if not, they have to reinforce correct procedure and reteach an incorrect one. Okay, for the procedures and routines, let's start. We, let's start at the beginning of the day. Then we also have the transitions and ending the day. So our early morning routine or beginning the day, first, 
we have to help set the tone for the rest of the day. Okay, like we have our arriving and meeting up, then also our prayer, okay, the, the singing of the National Anthem or the Lupang Himira. Of course, the alma mater song, if you have an alma mater song, your school hymn, calendar, okay, checking of attendance, circle time, yan, di mawawala sa preschool, a circle time, rhymes and finger plays. Okay, yan. Um, I will be sharing with you now, uh, this is already the one that is embedded in our learning management system. Okay, so as you notice, um, they are all conversational. Our transitional statements there are conversational as if we are talking to our pupils. Hello, little kids. How are you today? Let us start our day with a prayer. So, pwede niyo gawin sa inyong PowerPoint presentation and then they are all clickable. You can click this and then you can sing together with the students. So, you always started that with a prayer. And then, of course, the lupang hinirang ilagay natin ng ating kanang kamay sa kaliwang bahagi ng ating dibdib at sumagay sa pag-awit. So in that case, tuturo yun na rin how to be respectful and patriotic while singing the national anthem. So patatayuin natin sila even though they are at home, ilagay ang kanang kamay sa kaliwang bahagi ng ating dibdib and then you sing it, you do it every day. Also, the alma mater song or the, your school hymn, so they are all clickable. Yeah, so that they will be able to feel that still they are in school. And of course, yeah, this is our, actually the 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 facade, or I mean the canteen of our school. So tuturo nyo sila sa school sa first week para marerecall nila yung, ah, ito pala yung sura ng aming paaralan. Okay po? And of course, we started with our calendar. Diba sa preschool, lagi natin sinasabi na today is Thursday, July 16, 2020. It is a sunny day. And then, kakanta pa nga tayo ng what is the weather, the weather today, something like that, diba? We are singing when we, doing, when, when we are doing our calendar. And then at the same time, we are, we are also doing our uh, checking of attendance. How many boys are here? How many girls are here? How many children are here? Okay? Also, we have to, yes, introduce your, you have to introduce yourself, the teachers, the preschool teachers. Ayan po yung mga preschool teachers ng Dala Salipa. This is Teacher B, Nursery 1 teacher. Teacher Glenn and Teacher Marcel are Nursery 2 teachers. Teacher Shella, Teacher Olive, Teacher Joe are Kinder teachers and yours truly po. So, yan, kailangan nakikita nila lagi yung teacher nila at hindi nila dapat makalimutan. Ano bang itsura ng maganda kong teacher? Yan, <laughs> yan po yan. Of course, another way of checking the attendance is through uh, the pickerwheel.com. It is an online website. Okay, it's a website actually wherein uh, pwede rin pong gamitin sa um, yung online interactions, online discussion, because you can change the name here. Okay, you can make it uh, colors, shapes, pwedeng mga numbers, so yun po. I'm just sharing with you one of the tools that we are using. Also, we do not have to um, exclude our circle time, and our morning, um, morning greetings. Yan. So, for example po, you have the good morning song, Clickable din yan. So, in your learning management system or in your presentation in the PowerPoint, lahat gawin na natin clickable siya para hindi ka palipat-lipat ng website. Okay po, so clickable siya. Good morning song by the Singing Wild Rose. And then also, ayan po, um, hello, how do you do? So, I, 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 I borrowed this from our uh, preschool teachers sa kanilang learning management system po. Hinirap ko muna yan. And, and, and I share it with you. Ayan po. And also, we have uh, consistently doing this, di ba naman, the songs, dance, and rhymes. Yeah, rhymes, I mean, okay, they are largely um, researched po sa YouTube, marami niyan sa YouTube. Okay po, uh, isa po sa mga isi-share ko sa inyo ay, ito po, si Barney, yan, our all-time favorite. So, I, I hope alam pa rin ng mga kids natin yan, yung I love you, you love me, di ba? My kids really love Barney po talaga, lalo na ang panganay. Gustong gusto niya si Barney. So, very retentive yung mga songs ni Barney, ano? Isa pa sa mga songs na gustong gusto ko about kay Barney ay yung Oh, I like red. It's the color of an apple. Orange. I, I don't know if you remember that. Also, si Sesame Street. Yan, kanta ni Sesame Street. The Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, Kids TV, yung, yung mga usual na ginagamit namin. And of course, the very famous Coco Melon. 
Ito si Coco Melon. Dave and Ava and si Blippi. Si Blippi, very famous po sa aming mga estudyante. Uh, when I had our when I had a substitution for an absent teacher, ang una pong sinabi agad sa akin ng bata ay, Teacher, can you play for us a uh, nursery rhyme of Blippi? Noong una, hindi ko kalala kung sino si Blippi, pero nung sinerge ko sa YouTube at nag-start nag na ako mag-play, wow, palakpakan ng mga bata. They really love Blippi po. Ayan. Okay po, and of course, to start your day, you have to start or to set the mood of their kid of the kids by showing your weekly work plan or daily work plan what are you supposed to accomplish on uh, this day or in this week also you, you have to cite the objectives yan po yung para din po sa parent that they will be able to be guided on what they are going to accomplish on what they are going to learn okay kasali na talaga sila sa matututo ano, for a week or for a day ayan po and also we will not be um, having a successful delivery of instructions kapag wala tayong mga transitions. Kasi we know that the attention span of kids, hindi talaga sila po pwede nilang ginagawa nila. So very fast ang facing nila. So we have to do our in-between periods or activities. So most of the time, we do the chants, the yells, the songs, the rhymes, and the finger plays. Pwede rin po natin gamitin itong mga ping pong. Yung sa Baby Shark, di ba? Yan yun. And then, see si Mother Goose Club. Marami siyang nursery rhymes. And of course, she be beast by BBC Tech. Yan, yeah, marami po dyan sa BBC. Okay. And as preschool, nakalagay din to sa melt natin, ano, um, we have to teach our kids the life skills, the self-help skills, and the practical life exercises because we are forming them to be a lifelong learner because we want to develop in them uh, to be a productive member of the family and soon to be a productive member of the community and of the country men. <laughs> so first, um, ito po yung mga ginawa na rin namin, yung challenge virus go away. So I know you are familiar with this already. Okay, So you have to make sure that your materials are pre-assigned, like the paper, a, peep, a white plate with clean water, pepper, dishwashing liquid, and towel. And at the end of the activity, let the pupils figure out why is it important to wash our hands. Okay, they will be telling us that to keep the virus away. So uh, I am quoting uh, one of the lines of Miss Donna Banatikla. Let's let's teach kids nowadays how to think instead of what to think. So yun, napaka-importante po talaga noon. And what are the practical life exercises? Okay, so they are practical, so means they are basic, useful, and purposeful. It means the way of living. It enables a child to learn how to do activities in a purposeful way. Teacher Glenn, thank you nga pala because you shared it to me. So Teacher Glenn, by our um, nursery to teacher. So what are the characteristics of practical life exercises? They are real and functional. They are related to the child's time and culture. They are complete, attractive, and pleasing to the eye. Yan. What are the categories? So we have the preliminary exercises, the personal care, okay, the environmental care, the grace and courtesy, and the movement exercises. So I know we are all familiar with this because we've been doing this um, sa ating mga preschoolers, sa ating mga daycare centers. Okay, for the preliminary exercises, we have the opening bottles, opening a door, folding clothes, carrying a chair, pouring liquids and grains, cutting, pasting papers, carrying a tray of snacks. Okay, this one po, maybe you'll be asking me, how will, be, how, will, how will it be possible sa online learning? So we can do this in our uh, live demonstration. Or pwede ni naman pong, you take a video of yourself doing this, or pwede ni naman you search sa YouTube kung how are you going to do that and embed it in your learning material. Same with your personal care. So dito na sa dressing, sa button, you use the materials available at home. Their shirt, okay, yun po. Their shoes, in polish shoes, the zipper the, sa, sa pants nila. And of course, we have, to, um, we, ha we have to teach them the value of washing hands and preparing snacks. Yan po. Next is environmental care. Okay, pwede din natin turuan sila to wash clothes. Sa amin nga po, yung washing of handkerchief lang kasi they are young learners. Dusting a table, yeah, sakto-sakto sa bahay. Setting a table, cleaning a table, sweeping, polishing wood, mopping, polishing glass. So, pwede pong uh, for us to be able to make sure that 
kids are really doing this, we can ask their family members to take a photo of it while they are doing that or to take a just a clip, a video clip of how they are doing that, like also in arranging flowers. In grace and courtesy, the introduction, how to do the proper yawning, greeting a person, and when you are coughing, kasi ngayon talaga mortal sinang umubo, di ba? So when you are doing the coughing, yan, we also teach that to our kids. Saying thank you and interrupting when somebody's talking, saying excuse me, offering help, and introduction of oneself. Though it's all sometimes integrated naman din sa ating lesson. Also, ayan, Okay, movement exercises. Diba nabangit ko kanina sa movement exercises natin? Um, we have to maximize our backyard. In walking walking in lines, paano yun? So you have to, uh, for example, meron ka yung isang malaking, mahabang PC or uh, yung lines ng tiles nyo sa bahay. They can walk there and to practice walking in straight lines. In curved lines naman, pwede po kayong mag-drawing using chalks, malaking backyard nyo or yung mga ropes then or mga laces gawin yung curved lines and then the, the kids will be walking on that and then sa zigzag what we are doing po ay chairs we form that in zigzag and then the kids will walk in zigzag running dancing relay games these are all possible at home so while we try to teach our children about life we are not aware that our children teach us what life is all about kala natin tayo lang ang nagtuturo for pero uh, other than that, tayo pala ang mas natututo. For now, I will be discussing some creative online activities for the preschoolers. So these are our some of the practices of the Lasallian de la Salipa. First is, we, when we start introducing our lesson, di ba we are introducing it in a thematic way kasi we are following the milks of the deaf ed. So you always started it with a group singing and dancing as your motivation. So you can have it uh, presented in a PowerPoint, or you can have it in a live demonstration. You can also use Prezi, but you have to um, take into consideration the font because we are um, we are catering um, preschoolers, early uh, early childhood, so dapat medyo um, readable yung font niya. Uh, in our school, we are using Avian and Century Gothic as font. And then for the font size, we have to make sure that it's bigger enough for the kids to see it. And the color combinations of the text and the pictures, we have also taken into consideration the number of slides. Baka naman sobrang dami ng slides ng PowerPoint nyo. So recommended is seven, recommended slides are seven to ten slides only. And then the videos and the, the clips, the, the songs that you are going to um, curate from uh, YouTube, dapat maximum of five minutes lang. Para uh, aside from the bandwidth requirement, also para din sa mga bata to be able to have retention of what they are watching and singing. Also, yeah, this is also our way of presenting our lesson. We have to make colorful and creative way of presenting it. So in our learning management system, these are all clickable. When you click the first module, the first step, second step, third step, they will lead you to a specific page wherein the entire discussion is already there. So parang medyo may essence of uh, um, um, online activity, parang mayroon ganon. And also, um, when you started introducing your lesson, we always do it in a storytelling way. Actually, this is a teacher-made story of Teacher Marcel. Hello, Teacher Marcel. So it's a PowerPoint presentation entitled The Family Went to Market, integrated already with our lessons for the week, the colors, the vegetables and uh, fruits, because it's um, an integration of um, nutritious foods, and then sets. Also, a beginning letter, the vowel letter. And then after that, there is also a clickable uh, discussion of PowerPoint here because we have to maximize the PowerPoint slides. So we have another set of PowerPoint slides for the discussion wherein there are some questions for enrichment activities, checking up of how the pupils will be able to, uh, were able to understand the, the storytelling activity that was made by the teacher. So papasok na dyan yung lesson. Okay, also, yan. For the instructions, there are some um, videos that are already embedded in the learning management system. So, ang aming pong mga PowerPoint presentations pala ay may voiceover ng teacher kasi we also inten intended it for our offline learning para if the parents, those working parents that they want to have a follow-up 
on their children, pwedeng balikan nila yung learning management system namin and then they can click the PowerPoint presentation of the teacher na may voiceover. So parang nag-aral ulit sila. So yun po. So these are clickable voice over of the teacher about the assessments that that they have to be accomplished in a week. So we already give them in advance so that they know what are what are the uh, tasks that they have to accomplish. And of course, after accomplishing, they will be receiving a reward or a ribbon. Okay? So, of course, a series of uh, formative assessments will also be given to them. They are all clickable for Activity 1, Activity 2, Activity 3. So, for example, for their Activity 2 and Activity 3, they have to download their activities and then ask their guardians or family member to take photos of the accomplished tasks and have submitted them, them on the assignment section. So, pag kinilik nyo po yung assignment section dito, uh, it will direct uh, you to the assignment section and dun yun na lang i-upload yung mga assignment ng mga bata. Ayan. Easy task teachers to check who were not able to upload, who were not able to submit. And also, we can, we can maximize the use of uh, our online resources like the Kahoot. The Picker Wheel, Mentimeter, yung kanina Wordle, I was able to include here. And also the Google Form. Pwede din po tayong gawa ng ating mga assessments in Google Form. And also our in online interactive websites for our games like Alimentarium Academy, abcy.com, and then pbskids.org. There are just some of the uh, recommended online interactive websites. Also, when we had our HBOL or our home-based online learning last, um, last this school year. So, ito po yung ginamit namin. Okay. So, this was last May lang po. So, the pupils will be able, or this will be able to help the pupils in clicking this, and then ililid na sila doon sa activity for the day. So, parang ganun po. And also, because in a preschool, we believe that authentic assessment is really a, a very important one to, um, to measure how they really understand the lesson. Okay, so uh, this, this is some of the example, one of the examples I mean that we've done last time. So you will be asked to perform an activity entitled show and tell experience with the help of your parents and guardians. Then submit a video more than two minutes of, of the activities that you meaningfully, meaningfully do together with your family members. So we always include our family members kasi nga po tayo ay online learning. And then, uh, we ended up with a one or two line prayer because it's integrated. This will be uh, checked through a rubric. And of course, they will be downloading a badge or a star because they will be able to finish it. Now, we are about to end. Ending a routine, we have, we have to end a day now. So in ending a routine, we have to ensure that you have enough time to give students both positive and corrective feedbacks and to set a positive tone for ending the class. So, like in morning routines, so ang ating ending routine naman, it will help us and the children to be ready for the next day. So you have to wrap up the day's activity. If you're going to give rewards or any, do it now. You have to pack up time, give some reminders, do the prayer because you started with a prayer, you have to add a prayer and the goodbye song. You're saying, um, goodbye teacher, like something like that. Okay, yung goodbye song natin. Okay, so that's how basically uh, a typical online interaction is being done in a preschool way. So um, I'm about to finish my webinar today. So I hope you were able to learn something new and you were able to um, integrate it in your online learning experience. Okay, so remember that if a child can't learn the way we teach, maybe we should teach them the way they, the way they learn according to Ignacia Estrada. And Tell me and I forget, teach me and I remember, involve me and I learn by Benjamin Franklin. We have to make sure that we really engage our preschoolers to their learning activities because they may forget what you said, but they will never forget how you made them feel. So tayo bilang preschool teachers, is, that is really our big task. And we always have to make sure that we uh, show to them that we really care. So virtual hug na lang muna tayo ngayon. Uh, and then... Um, Yung mga flying kiss natin sa mga kids, yan, ganyan. Okay? Because children, because children learn from what they see and hear. Because if they see love, they learn to be loving. If they hear boundaries, they learn to live within the boundaries. If they hear encouragement, they learn to try. 
if they hear criticism, they learn to criticize. If they hear bad words, they learn to say bad words. If they hear intimidation, they learn to fear. If they see respect, they learn for respect. If they see responsibility, they learn to be responsible. If they hear and see kindness, they learn to be kind. But nonetheless, there is no perfect way to be a good teacher because each situation is unique. Each teacher has different challenges, different skills and abilities, and certainly different students. What matters is that a teacher loves her students and does their best every single day. So as a preschool teachers, yan po ang mga pictures. <laughs> Let's recite this all together. Let me remember to be patient, to do my best, to love each, each child, to honor the differences in each child, to smile and have fun, to be mindful of the words I say, to know that I am a difference and maker in the lives of children. Ayan po. So we ended with a prayer. We will close it also with a prayer. Let us remember that we are in the most holy presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So for all that has been, thank you, Lord. And for all that will be, yes, Lord. So thank you very much. Yan po. So where are you? Miss Michelle, uh, maximize ko ba ang aking oras? <laughs> yes, so ma'am. So thank you Medyo very much for ma'am. Ma <laughs> Kayang-kaya naman. Sakto lang po ma'am. Okay po ma'am. So we proceed po ma'am to our question and answer portion. Okay. I hope so, I, will say, I will be able to answer them. Because <laughs> the experience lang po itang sagot ko sa inyo. <laughs> okay po. So first question po ma'am. From Miss Jenny Perez, how can we set rules po for our child, uh, for our child's screen time? or use of gadget, given that learning now will take place online, especially if they also use this in games and watching videos po. Okay, that's why po I have said, I have mentioned a while ago na we really have to collaborate with parents. So we have to make sure also that what we consistently implement sa bata, ini-implement din ang mga family members natin. So screen time only doesn't mean yung online interaction lang natin, ano, di ba? Pwede rin siyang isali po yung, uh, yung panonood nila ng TV. So we have to make sure also that parents are also consistent in implementing that, that at home. At tayo din po, para at least yung bata... They will be able to realize at the end na talaga palang importante na ito lang yung screen time po. Kasi it's also for the benefit of them, for their health. Ayun. Sagot ko ba? <laughs> Yan po. Um, opo naman po. Thank you po ma'am. Next question po from Ms. Camille Quachon. Hi ma'am. What do you think are the possible negative effects of online learning to our preschoolers? Ayan, totoo yan. So as early as now, we can already uh, see the negative effects of it. So, so kung hindi po tayo uh, makakapag strongly collaborate with the parents, magkakaroon talaga tayo ng negative effects of online learning. Kasi unang-una sa health condition ng mga bata, because the more they are are uh, into screen time kasi syempre pwede nilang idahilan na uh, they are doing some um, movies na related sa kanilang pinag-aaralan pero you have to monitor din po kasi eh. Kaya dapat sa atin din manggaling lalo na tayo as parents na you have to directly monitor our kids kasi nga po of the negative effects sa health natin. Pangalawa sa time, di ba? Kasi kita naman natin ngayon kasi hindi tayo makalabas masyado so more of us are into different devices. Makita mo na lang sa bahay, tahimik lahat. Yung pala, yung isa nanonood ng kay drama. Yung isa nag-YouTube. Yung isa nag-Facebook. So, ganon. So, sa bahay siguro, gawin din natin na meron din tayong screen time. Kami po sa bahay, may schedule kami na during this time, eto lang tayo pwedeng mag-internet. Uh, 5 o'clock onwards, 5 p.m. onwards, hindi mo na kami pwedeng mag-open ng mga different websites na unless related to work. Tapos, after eating dinner, saka ulit pwede. Tapos, until 11 p.m. lang po. So, you have to uh, set rules din sa bahay. Okay po. Another one is, uh, siguro din yung um, tama din na yung batang magbasa ng mga aklat, no? So, yun po siguro ang isa sa mga negative effect ng ating online learning. So, ang aking mga sasabi lang dyan is, uh, even though we are into online learning, uh, we, we as teachers and uh, parents, magbigay din tayo ng mga different uh, reading activities sa kanila. Uh, kung ano man yung mga available um, 
reading materials at home, yung mga story books, lalo na yung may mga textbooks pong ginagamit. Kasi kami in our school, we are not using textbooks anymore para ma-practice pa rin nila yung love for reading at love sa textbooks na hindi lagi pong naka-open uh, yung mga devices nila in reading. So, yun lang po. And thank you, ma'am. I think this one has a connection po dun sa last answer mo okay, po. Okay. Pagsamahin ko na lang po yung question ni Sir James at ni Ms. Uh, ni Ms. Cherry Lynn Wong. Ang Hello question po. po nila is, Good afternoon po, ma'am. How to assist the reading skills of kinder pupils and grade 1 in using modular modality? Okay, ma'am Cherry naman po, can you recommend po some online activities po for teaching reading? For teaching? Reading po. A reading, okay po. Ah, uh, kasi kami yung ginagamit namin talaga yung ABCYA, mga games doon. Marami po doon reading materials, o po, mga learning instructional. Um, ang ating World Wide Web ay napakadaming pwedeng nating i-research. Ano po, basta yung ang dulo daw po pag nagre-research yung that educational. So yun po, kami po kasi we maximize our... Uh, Mm, our learning management system tapos yung sa schools din po na mga ginagamit namin flashcards for us to uh, enhance the reading skills of the children. So, dapat po siguro sa bahay, together with their family members, meron pa rin silang mga flashcards sa mga CVC words, flashcards sa mga letters for nursery 1 and nursery 2 para from time to time din po kasi diba it is associated with the sounds. Lagi natin na uh, lagi din po nating ipopractice sa house yun. And then, when they are already kinder and grade 1, we continuously provide them with reading materials. So, uh, sa DepEd ang dami talaga doon. Kasi ako, isa sa, ako sa mga nag-subscribe uh, sa DepEd Click. Ang dami doon uh, reading materials na po pwedeng i-download. So, I have shared them already with the preschool teachers. And then, they can maximize the use of it. Pwede nilang, actually, sa mga webs, sa mga Facebook nga po nowadays, ang dami nagbibenta ng mga modules na ganyan. So, yun, I think that, that is one way of uh, um, helping our kids to be engaged more in learning and at the same time, um, teaching them to learn at home. So, sa mga parents din, we have to make sure that we are together with the teacher in teaching the children how to learn and how to do and how to um, value the love of Reading. Thank you, po, ma'am. Next, po, ma'am, is from Miss Atasha Flavio. Okay. How is discipline managed during online learning, po? Ayan, medyo mahirap talaga yan, ano? Kasi you cannot, uh, hindi mo masasawa yung batang hindi nakikinig. So, yun, when you are doing online learning, nasabi ko na to dati sa, akin, sa mga teachers na you have to make your movements bigger. Kasi, di ba, sa classroom, bigger na yung pagbubo ng kamay, paggalaw mo, the more in online learning kasi maliit lang yung screen. So you have to maximize the use of your body, body parts. Like for example, meron kang mga signals when you cannot hear, kaganan ka, lalapit ka sa screen. When you cannot see them, you will be using these gestures so that you can see, for example, I cannot see Michelle. So yan, that's also one way of uh, calling the attention of the child. And then yung mga waving of hands, yung mga ganon, yung mga approved gestures natin we can also have it. At saka syempre, again, kasi nga ito ay uh, partnership with parents. Si mommy din, we have to also ask the parents to help us uh, in um, being consistent sa uh, pag, uh, pagsaw pagsaway sa bata or pag pag focus nila sa ating online learning. As I have mentioned a while ago, diba, dapat talaga may learning space sila at may learning time para hindi din natin hahayaan na yung bata pag nag-aaral na sa kwarto kasi halimbawa, may kama dyan eh. So, hihiga yan. Hindi makikinig sa teacher. So, dapat meron silang specific table na talagang doon sila magsiset up ng kanilang device. At para ma-feel din ng bata, kasi dapat hindi din natin kinakalong ang mga anak natin pag may mga online learning. Though I know, at the beginning of the class, meron mga ganyan. Pero we have to discourage the parents na gradually, turuan natin ang mga bata na medyo, at din lang si mami sa tabi, pero si, si bata talaga yung nakaupo, na nakaharap sa screen, at si mami nagka-guide lang talaga. So in that way, uh, si teacher at si mami, they are uh, helping one another in disciplining the child. Thank you po, ma'am. Next Thank question you. po from Miss Joyce Villa. Paano po kapag working both parents and impossible to follow the suggested daily schedule? Any suggestions? Ayan. 
actually uh very ano po yan sakto-sakto sa practices namin sa Dela Salipa kasi we really put into big considerations the working parents po that's why all our uh, learning materials are uploaded already in a quarter para po uh, parang it is a um, self um, self paced learning like for example in a week in a week na lesson naka-upload na siya dun sa uh, learning management system namin kasi para sa mga parents na they can have for example they can already uh, do the formative assessments and other enrichment activities during weekend pwede na lang balikan ano ba yung nangyari during the week tapos i-download lang nila yung mga activities doon tapos pwede silang mag-aral for example kaya na kasing tapusin ng isang half day na Saturday at isang linggong lesson lalo na sa preschool very uh, simple lang naman yung mga lessons natin so yon ang may papayo ko lang is you have to prepare materials that is good for a week or, or a quarter kung kaya or a semester mas maganda tapos uh, you already um, upload it into your learning management system or share it with the parents lalo na sa mga working parents and then make sure also that your line is open for questions meron kayo ngayong online consultation na kami kasi we also um ask the help of teachers na to entertain online consultations from parents beyond office hours meron kasi as what we had experienced last time may mga parents na tumatawag as late as 8 p.m kasi clarifying for some instructions so it's good that the teachers are very open-minded and very um uh, very ready rin to help. So, sana ganun lahat ang attitude ng teachers natin na hindi porket it's not already may official time, hindi ko nasasagutin yung queries ng parents. Remember, we are we are all in this together. We have to work hand in hand kasi talagang it's really a big, big challenge for all of us to make our online learning successful. So, ayos teachers talagang uh, totoo, kailangan natin i-devote ang time natin para maging successful at maging meaningful and happy ang online online learning ng ating preschoolers. Okay, ma'am. Thank you all for our last question for today po. From Miss Maria Carla uh, Arboys. Good Hello. afternoon po. How can you help us that I am a parent and at the same time a high school teacher? Mm. The problem is my four years old son who's focused on using cell phone for games. How I encourage, how to encourage him to practice how to write? Ah, how to write. Oh, nga okay. naman po. <laughs> ah, ah, oh, med medyo mahirap nga yun eh. Kasi syempre, we know that uh, the first, first things first is learned in school. Di ba? Kung ano yung mga una natututunan, like how, how to handle. Siguro yung may re recommend ko lang sa parent is, since we cannot have our face-to-face interaction or face-to-face -face tutorial parang ganun she will be serving as the learning tutor of the kid so pwede po siya mag-research sa mga youtube on how to handle pencil or may mga nabibili rin naman sa mga bookstores ng mga yung large grip pencil ko how to para kung paano hawakan ng bata kasi kami um before the start of the classes we really ask our kids to uh, to to make or to create a play doh para sa kanilang psychomotor so yon mga 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 fidgetive activities, yung mga ganun, para ma ma maging define yung kanilang psychomotor. And then, pag okay na yung um, way of handling the pencil ng bata, siguro, you can also, meron na pong kasi nadadownload ng mga dotted lines, na it, it's a trace muna. Yan. Kaso lang, dapat medyo creative tayo on how are we going to uh, let the our kids do it. So, siguro medyo gradually, kasi hindi talaga pwede yung bigla, gradually, bawas-bawas natin yung time ng bata mag-cellphone kasi nasa atin din naman eh kung bakit nasanay yung bata na laging naka-cellphone, di ba? Siyempre, we know, nakapag-busy tayo lang nasa work, work from home like us, o dyan ka muna, mag-cellphone ka muna kasi busy si mami. So, gradually, bawas-bawas na natin yung cellphone. Tapos, siguro maganda rin, while the kids are already into writing or um, tracing. After each activity, meron tayong something na reward na ibibigay sa bata para ma mag mag look forward siya sa sunod na activity. So there are there there are a lot of uh, downloadable na mga print at saka printable na materials sa website sa mga sa mga website. So DepEd, madami din po. So yon. Kung may printer kayo sa bahay, i-print lang, yun, yun po pwede yun. Tapos pwede yung, para ma-feel din ng bata yung ownership of learning niya, pwede mong picturean, i-post mo sa Facebook na ito yung na-accomplish ng anak ko, then pakita mo sa bata. O, diba? Parang the next day, she will he, he or she will be looking forward to another activity. So parang ganun. Yun. Thank you, ma'am. That's all our oh, questions we have for now. So Any last reminders po to our viewers for today? 
Um, my parting words lang are teaching preschoolers are really a challenging task. Nowadays that we cannot hug our kids, we cannot touch them, we cannot show our tender loving care to them. So we have really to uh, double our time in providing online learning experiences, in maximizing online learning experiences to them. So that um, itong first first time natin, di ba, na mag online learning, actually fully online tayo sa opening of classes, I, they will find it meaningful and happy. Tapos they will find it also, they will be looking forward for it. So sana ganun, sana din lahat ng teachers, lahat ng preschool teachers, I know, ang effort natin ay hindi mababayaran kasi iba talaga ang ina-exert nating effort sa ating mga little ones. Ano po? So yun lang, and of course, I would like to thank again our um, Kabival for this opportunity. Apo, learn as, hashtag learn as 1PH. Our Lasallian family again, headed by Mang Heidi. Through Miss Donna Banatikla, thank you Miss Donna ha, for this opportunity. Our integrated school family, our um, learning learning area chairs, John Kawai Kawai po, our grade school teachers, po, our assistant principals, nakalimutan ko ata sila. And of course, our preschool department teachers po, thank you so much kasi sila talaga yung nag-share sa akin ito. And I really ask them as their permission na kung pwede ko siyang i-share kasi actually ito na po yung ginagawa namin today. So medyo may intellectual property kami dito but I really ask their permission kasi kanila din yung po yung ibang mga ideas dito. And thank you so much and I hope you will be able to uh, create and provide meaningful learning experiences for our preschoolers and make our parents as partners as we nurture learning and also as teachers then we have to make sure of our mental health. So enjoy lang po natin. Ano, enjoy lang natin kung ano ang ating ipoprovide sa mga bata. And of course, don't forget to smile para forever tayong beauty. Yan po. <laughs> okay po, well, there we have it. In behalf of Bibal Group Incorporated, I would like to thank you, our speaker, Ma'am Eden, thank for this very insightful learning session. It is an honor to have you with us today. And to all our Kabibal viewers, all thanks to you for your continuous patronage to our um, daily learning session. At muli maraming salamat at magandang araw sa ating lahat. See you po tomorrow to another webinar series. Goodbye po. Thank Bye. you.